Hi everyone. Happy PJ party Friday. I hope you guys are still in your PJs and if not, I'll be the only one in my pajamas. That's all right. And I wore my snowflake pajamas because it's snowing in Cleveland, Ohio. We're supposed to get two to four inches today. No surprise. Again, this does happen. And I'm just looking outside. We've been observing nature. I'm looking at the little buds and the daffodils kind of shrink back up and close back up as it snows. So I hope you're somewhere sunny and warm and bright. <laughs> and if not, welcome to Cleveland, Ohio. All right, I'm so glad you joined me. I'm Denise with Artist to Her Paint Party, coming to you live from Cleveland, Ohio. Joe is behind the scenes, my nephew. He'll be running the banners and the photos, and he'll be corresponding with you guys through Messenger as you guys type and chat. If you've been here from the beginning, thank you so much. I appreciate you coming back. And you can always talk to and chat with everybody else if they have questions about what we're doing or what supplies you need or what age this is for. So I'd like to tell everybody you can use any supplies that you have access to. Paper, pens, markers, crayons, highlighters, colored pencils, paint, temper paint, watercolor paint, acrylic paint, house paint, if you have permission. I try not to use oil-based paint because it needs turpentine and a lot of ventilation. So welcome so much. Today we're going to do hot air balloons. And I like to use... For my sloppy copy, I use computer paper, and I'll do a couple practices. And then for my good artwork, I use canvas, minus 16 by 20. I like to draw in black marker so you can see it on the screen. But normally, I would sketch it out in pencil. So whatever you choose to use is just fine with me. All right, so you guys, I'm going to do a couple different hot air balloons. Hot, hot air balloons are just beautiful, colorful. They can have patterns and designs. You can have stars and stripes and hearts and polka dots. So you be creative. You use the colors that you like, the patterns that you like, the designs that you like. You can do as, hot, as many hot air balloons as you like. All right, so I'm just going to start with one on this. Well, let's do this one first. So I'll do a big hot air balloon just so you could see it. And then I'm going to do, let's do the center part first. So it arches out a little bit and that makes it look dimensional. So if I did it just straight vertical line, it wouldn't look rounded. So I'm just slightly curving the lines to make it look like it's rounded. And then there's strings that hold the basket. And if you want, you could give your basket some lines to look like it's a basket. I have never gone on a hot air balloon ride. I would be very afraid of it, but I, I'm willing to try it one day. So I'll do another one over here. So if you want, you could put like arches on the top. It's a little challenging to draw from the side. So it's a little bit lopsided. And then you do your strings for your basket. And again, you could do designs on here. Stripes, a color theme, red, white, and blue purple and yellow, patterns. Your artwork from yesterday was amazing. I love all your ideas. I love when you think outside the box. And Benjamin, I'm gonna borrow your idea. Benjamin did, uh, so he took the artwork from the day before, which were the real simple graphic sports. And then he took the silhouette of the matching sport. So the soccer player, he superimposed on top of the soccer ball and then he painted it in. And the football player was on top of the football 
over there. And the tennis player's on top of the tennis ball. I love that idea. I did post his pictures on the page, but it can give you ideas of, again, things that I didn't even think about. I love that. You inspire me. So I inspire you. You inspire me. We inspire each other. And that's why I love what I do. And that's why I love art. No right or wrong. Think outside the box. Come up with your own ideas. All right. So there's my sloppy copies. And my sloppy copy is a little lopsided. So I hope I draw it a little bit better on the canvas. But that just gives you an idea of a couple different designs. I'm just going to put it over here real quick for now. Remind me to take it down in a minute. I'm going to make this one a little bit different than the sample, just so I have a couple of different examples. I like to try and change them up a little bit. All right, so I'm going to do a little baby hot air balloon right here. So it's going to look like it's farther away. I'm going to start with the middle stripe and work my way out. Kind of looks like a watermelon. Little box for the basket. Okay, I'm gonna do another one over here. Start with the center. Arch your lines. I'll put a medium one down here. And I'll put my biggest one right over here. Could you make it go off the edge of the page? Of course you could. Joe, you wanna show them a few examples of some hot air balloons? So there's a couple different designs, beautiful hot air balloons. That one has a Dr. Seuss poem on it. I forgot what it says. Don't cry because it's over. Smile because it's happiness. Is it a memory? Oh, smile because it happens, because it happens. It hasn't happened yet, but. Okay, Joe, is there another one? Or is that it for the hot air balloon photos? It must be it. And I got a hot air balloon song for you. It's called Alexa, play Up, Up, and Away by Fifth Dimension. Up, up and away, my beautiful, my beautiful balloon. All right, sorry about that. Hopefully that doesn't get muted. It didn't really sound like the song, so I can't imagine anyone wanting to sue me. I can imagine someone wanting to mute me. <laughs> All right. And what about that movie, Up? Joe, remember we saw that? That was such a good movie. I love that movie. I bet you there's a soundtrack to that one, too. All right. So let's do some. Let's do the center lines. And again, this mine might be a little bit lopsided, drawing from the side here. A little. So this one, because it's the closest basket. Oh yeah. So those the big one. This one, since it's going to be the closest, it would be the most detailed. You would see more of it because it's so close. So I would make the the basket just a little bit more detailed. And if you guys want, I you could put like little heads in there. Hey, did you bring a picnic? I did. What's in the picnic basket? Pizza. Because everyone was painting pizza yesterday and it got me in the mood for pizza. So there, again, there's, you guys can fill up the whole sky with balloons. You can do whatever you want to. Let's put some ground in. You could do mountains, a river, houses. You want to put little houses? I'm just going to make mine simple. So you can do your ground however you want, of course. You can do your balloons however you want. I'm gonna put a stripe on this one. 
If I don't put it now, I'll forget. And again, think you can do them red, white, and blue. You can do them your favorite colors. You could do it your sports themes. Sports theme colors. You can put hearts on there, stars. All right. So I am going to do my balloons before I do my background. And again, you guys do whatever colors you like. Since I did that one red and orange, I'm going to make this one purple. It might look darker on the screen. That happens. I tried to make it a light purple just so you could see it. If I use like the pure purple, it looks black on the screen. You could be using crayons, colored pencils, magic marker. You do not have to keep up with me. Take your time, you could still be drawing. You could still be practicing your sloppy copy. Oops, I just went out of the line. I'll paint over it later. So you could, if you're using acrylic paint, and tempera too. Uh, tempera is washable. That if I was teaching in the schools, I would be using tempera paint. But if you let it dry, if you make a mistake and let it dry, you can paint over it, but you have to be patient. You have to let it dry. So again, I'm going to make mine a pattern. I'm going to bring my plate over a little bit closer. You don't want to. So I keep reusing the same plate. I know you guys want to see my paint. Look at that. But my, my plate is reused. So once the paint dries on there, it's just like plastic. So I just put some more paint on top of it. And now I'm just going to paint in like a pattern. So I skipped one of the sections. So I'm going to do purple, skip it. And do purple again, but again, you use your favorite colors. And just think about the background. What color are you gonna do the background? Are you gonna do the background all yellow? Are you gonna do a blue like the sky? Are you gonna do a green? And why that's important is you wanna have contrast. So if you're gonna use sky blue for your background, you really don't want your balloon to have sky blue in it because you want it to show up. So again, I didn't use any blue in here because I wanted the balloons to show up better. If you want a blue balloon, either use a different kind of blue or use a different color for your sky. Maybe you make a purple sky and a blue balloon. Maybe you make a yellow sky. Can you believe this is the end of our fifth week? It's amazing to me. And we're, st we're gonna have class on Saturday tomorrow five, at noon, five, I don't know what I'm thinking about. So I'm just gonna stick my head in here for a second, right here. I'm trying to make it a little bit even. Better, a little bit better. Okay, and let's see. I'm going to try to do all different colors because really what the, one of the fun things about balloons is, you know, they're fun colors. I'm going to let my purple dry. I'm going to jump over to this one. So this one, I'm going to make my pattern go, instead of vertical, this one's going to go horizontal. But I'm still curving it so it gives the illusion that my balloon is round.
I am going to do, let's see. Hmm. How about this one? How about we do that one yellow, orange. Let's do orange, orange and yellow. How about that? I'm gonna start in the middle. But again, you do yours any color you want to. Actually, I'm going to do mine red. I'll do it. Orange and red. I don't think yellow would show up quite as nice as the red will. <gasps> Alexa, play 99 red balloons. Did I scare you guys? That was loud. It's been so quiet today. If you don't have an Alexa, you could just play it yourself. 99 red balloons. Do, 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 do. That's all I know. I think she's French because I think she sings that song in, in French also. 99 red balloons go by. I'm going to do. How about I do? Should I do yellow? Let's do yellow on that one. I still haven't exactly figured out how to do the watch party. I was trying to do it again before I came on and I didn't have luck. So that way, if you do this, you can actually do it with your friends or your family while you're doing it and they can watch it with you, which is fun. Oops, look at what I did. Oh, I got paint on my pajamas again, and I smudged my balloon. I have to remember to work my way this way. I always forget. So that's okay, because I'm going to cover it with the background color, which is blue, but I just smudged my whole hot air balloon. But that's all right. We'll get over it. So let's see. What color am I going to do these stripes? Again, you want to have contrast. I don't know if I want to use green on there because my green is in my grass. Maybe I'll do a light pink. I'll do a light pink in there. So we did pink and light pink. How's that? So this one's got a lot of colors. And again, you use the colors that you like. So I'm doing a real pale pink. If you can't see that.
I'm going to do the other one red. I'll do this one red. You could even do the entire background really, really colorful and do your hot air balloons and silhouettes like we did yesterday. That would be fun too. I love to see your photos. I love to see your ideas. You can check in at Artist at Heart Paint Party. You can message them to me through Facebook. You can email me at artistatheart.org. You can also upload the photos and see all the pictures. And actually, let's do that one orange. You can tag me. If you can't see this, this is okay, because when I'm done, I'll outline everything with black, and it'll help it stand out. So I'm going to jump down to my grass. I could do my baskets if you want. I would do your baskets brown, or you can leave them white. You can make a match your balloon. You don't have brown? If you mix like red and blue together or red and green together, you'll get a brown color. You can mix red and black together if you have that. How are they coming? Okay, let's do the brown. I'm gonna let this dry a little bit before I do the blue, just so that can have a minute or two, and then I'll do the green. But you could do your brown. You could do your brown orange, red. You could do your brown any color you want to. Don't do it green, because I'm doing green. You guys do it however you want to. I'm gonna do some green, some greenish yellow, some green with white in it. You can let it dry and add a pattern in it. I always go back to my artwork. You can always go right back to the beginning from your very first ones, add to them, outline them, paint over some sections, add to it, collage it. So many times when I'm doing this, I have extra paint left over and I don't want to waste it. So I just add to my paintings. So this one's the same green, except I added a little yellow to it. So it should look a little different. And I like to see the brush strokes. But you can do, make yours smooth. I think the brush strokes make it look cool. So there's a, they're a little bit different. This one up here, I'm just going to add a little bit of white to that same green that I just made. So it's a little bit lighter. So I just want to see the different sections. Again, you can make them all different colors. You can make it water. You could have a river down there. Little houses. Trees.
And again, you can overlap them. They can go into each other. So there's my ground. Now I'm going to start my blue background. And I'm definitely going to cover that. So this is dry now since I smudged it with my pajamas. And I am going to go into the background. How's yours coming? So I'm going to use some blue and some white. I don't want it to be too intense. And I'm going to tap, 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 tap to give it a cloudy, fluffy look. We've been doing that in some of the other paintings. And if you're new here, that's okay. Give it a try. So I just scoop up a lot of paint. And if you're using watercolor paint, that's cool too. You know what? Something fun is I know a lot of you guys have watercolor paint and I don't have any here. But it's really cool if you want to give it a texture. Textures the way, like an illusion of the way that something feels. So since my paint is thick, since I'm using acrylic and I'm tapping, I'm giving it a cloud-like illusion. But what you could do, you have to ask permission first. But if you're using watercolor paint, you can sprinkle some salt on it when you're done. So do your sky and sprinkle some salt. And what happens is the salt soaks up. Where it landed, it soaks up the water into the little granule of salt. And you just wait, you know, until your painting's dry and then you shake it off in the garbage can and you'll have all that little texture of the salt. The salt won't stick, but where it landed, it absorbs the water and you get a really cool texture. So if you want to try that, that's always something fun to do with watercolor paint. It, has, it won't really work with this or with tempera because the paint is too thick. It has to be really watery to do that. You, got, you do not have to keep up with me. Do it at your own pace. Don't rush it just because I'm going quick. So I've been working on contacting various artists and places around Cleveland that would like to come on the show and share some stuff with us. Just like in the beginning, I don't know if you guys were watching, all of you were watching back when the um, Julie Spencer from Australia came on and talked about the aquarium at the Great Barrier Reef headquarters. So I contacted the aquarium in Cleveland and the Cleveland Museum of Art, but the aquarium got back to me today and they said they would love to come on next week. So I'm trying to figure out a day we would do, uh, I guess they have a special exhibit right now of rainbow fish. Uh, I don't know that much. She was going to send me information about it, but we'll definitely create a painting around that theme. I'm super excited. So they would, of course, they have to have people at the aquarium to take care of the fish, just like the zoo, just like the um, art museum, people are at the art museum making sure that all the art is okay. You know, artwork has to stay at a certain temperature, a certain humidity, humidity level. Uh, so there's always people there monitoring stuff. Of course, practicing social distancing, but people are still there. People are at the aquarium feeding them, taking care of the animals. So I thought it would be a good idea if they could come on and just share some stuff with us. So I'm really hoping that happens, and I'll let you guys know once I get a confirmation. So I'm going to do my lines after I paint this. My lines connecting the basket. Now, you don't even have to have lines if you don't want to.
How's everybody's coming? I love to see those pictures. Don't forget. So if you want to come on the screen with us, which I love, that's my favorite part. You guys can um, just don't mute yourself because then we can't hear you. And if it does sound funny, if every day you try it and it sounds like an echoey, put some earplugs in if you have them. Earplugs, if you're by yourself, like, you don't want to do that if your whole family is there. But if, you know, you have brothers and sisters who are doing it with you. But if you have been tr having trouble with the echoing sound, either turn your volume down or put some earbuds in if you have them. That should help. Tell us where you're from. Show us your artwork. Show us, you know, everything that you've made if you want to. I love when you share your ideas with me. It gives me ideas. Someone was asking for a sloth yesterday. So I, I have to figure out how to, I have seen sloths. They don't really do much but lay in a tree. You can't even tell, it just kind of looks like a blob. But I guess they're very popular right now. So we could try to do a sloth one day. It would be a first for me, but I could give it a try. What else? I, uh, panda bear was requested. I still think we should do a food day where we paint food. Not like paint food, but paint a picture of food. A still life, well, I'll talk about a still life more, but a still life is when you set up something like, you know, a bowl of fruit and you draw it. So you would set up like a pear and an apple and banana, whatever kind of fruit you have. So it's still, that's why it's called a still life. It doesn't have to be food. It could be, you know, a table, a lamp, your tennis shoes. But you would set it up to draw it or paint it and that's called a still life. All right, you get the idea, right? There we go. And you can outline it, you can add people to it. You paint right over that. Let's give that a little yellow line in there. I got green on it, but. Uh, just let it dry and I can go over it later. Or it could just be part of it because no one knows my mistakes but you and me, whoever I tell. So again, you can outline it if you want to. You can leave it like that. You can add people. You can add stars, the sun, a rainbow in the background. You be. I'm not adding any snow even though if you guys could see behind my computer screen is just a lot of snow. So I'm sure there's certain uh, weather requirements for hot air balloons to go up in the sky. But Joe is going to give you guys a link and you guys can come on, show your artwork, tell us something about yourself if you want to. Uh, I'm going to step over here so I can see the screen a little bit better. And... Whenever you're ready. So there's something that's called a green room and a green room is like the waiting room. And that's where you guys, once you click the link that Joe puts up, it says StreamYard. Once you click that link, you come into the green room and that's where you wait until Joe brings you on the screen. Once, so you just have to pay attention to the screen, make sure your volume is turned down a little. It's slightly delayed. So you'll hear me if your volume's up really high, you'll hear me talking and it kind of throws off the sound. So whenever Joe's ready, Joe can bring you up. Hi. Hi, Benjamin. Here's my, hey, my finished one. I just love that so much. That was such a great idea. How did you think of that? Uh, well, I just asked my mom. Wait, since we're kind of running low on canvases because we didn't refill it on the day, I was just, hmm, maybe we can combine it. My mom said we could combine it maybe. And then this is my painting for today. Love it. Love the pattern. Thank you for doing Thanks. this. You're welcome. 
So look at that. Benjamin thought of that. Hi. Hi. My name is Rana. I'm from Penn. St. Benedict PA, and this is mine. I did one for each of my family. Oh, I love it. That's great. Thank you. Hi, Miss Anise. Hi. Um, my name is Laura, and I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I am nine years old, and so far, this is my artwork. Well, that looks great. Oh, I like the pine trees. I should add some pine trees. Um. Could could you can you like if you have time in the summer could you maybe still do this? Well, let's take it one day at a time. <laughs> I you know ab absolutely. Let's just see how everything goes. Uh, right now, all my jobs and uh, events are canceled, so I have lots of time to paint with you guys. And we'll let's just take it as it comes, okay? But I would still love to continue this. So thank you. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Okay. Bye. Hello. So I made the turn from Amherst, Illinois. So if I, this is my hot air balloon thing. And I know that a couple times back, probably about a week ago, you were saying that you would do an art piece for like the people that were supposed to graduate this year. And I recommend fireworks saying class of 2020. Oh, that would be cool. It is you painting it in front of like the whole world. That's <laughs> awesome. And I would dedicate it to my cousin, Olivia, which she isn't, um, she, was, she wasn't in high school or college yet, but she was supposed to graduate from eighth grade this year. And yes, so thank That's you. Okay. Like a bunch of my friends love it. I even persuaded my teacher to take um, to move our meetings from 11 o'clock to 1030 so I could still do this. Oh, that's great. Really love it. Oh, thanks, Ava. You're welcome. Hi. Hi. This is mine. I I have like a person saying ah because um, a bird flew past. And it popped their balloon. Oh, wow. And I have some crosses down here with like graveyard because it's Halloween. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I think you can write a whole story about that artwork. Yeah. Hi. Hi. This is mine. Oh, those are pretty colors. Yeah. This is mine. Nice. That looks great. Bye. 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 Hi, I'm Tyler. And I'm Claire. And we're from Toledo, Ohio. Here's mine. And here's mine. Awesome. Those look great. Thank, Thank you. you for doing this. You're welcome. Hi. That was great. Bye. Bye. Hi. Hi. Tyler. And I'm Hi. Tyler. So cute. Thank you. Hi. Hi. I'm from Sylvania, Ohio, and my mom's here doing it with me, too. And this is mine picture, and then here's my mom's picture. <laughs> and I ever said Dexon. You have, you have suggestions? Speak up a little bit. Um, can maybe we could do a dinosaur like a T Rex or something? Maybe. Yeah, I thought you were gonna say Star Wars. Oh, I know. <laughs> and we we have a um real quick. We have a call out. Sorry, hi, mom. Call out to Katie Lyric in Elmhurst. There's a lot of Elmhurst families, and she's our cousin. So she, um, we forwarded it to her, and she's been doing it like every day religiously. So thank you so much for this. Oh, thank you so much for spreading it also. <laughs> we you. love it. Bye. Bye, Bye. guys. Thanks. Hi. Hi. I'm, this is my brother, Antonio, and this is mine. Oh, nice. That's great. Uh, this is mine. Oh, cool.
And then my mom, she made me a book to put all of my artwork in. Oh, that's awesome. How nice is that? I love your classes, and I wanted to give a shout out to my friend Chloe Frank and Ivan Metro for doing this every day. Thanks so much, and thanks for sharing it with your friends and your family. That's awesome. Bye. Bye. Hi. Hi. This is mine. I'm Do doing like a sunset. Can you like turn a light on? I'm doing like a sunset. Thank you. Thanks, honey. It was hard to see. That's a silhouette. If you guys don't know what a silhouette is. Hi. Uh, um, this is mine. And I had an idea for the bottom of it. You can put like a dog on the bottom or something. Yeah, you can put like Toto. It could be Toto. <laughs> um, there's a song called Hot Air Balloon. It's just called Hot Air Balloon. Oh, that's awesome. And are we going to do the dragonfly painting up there? Yeah, well, we'll do the dragonfly painting. Yes, we will. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Hi. 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 Um, I am Reagan Shock from Florida, and I just finished this one from a few days ago. And that came out really nice. Yesterday, I gave one of my paintings to my papa for his birthday. Oh, that's awesome. Did he love it? Yeah. Oh, that's great. Thank you. Hi. Hi. I'm Lily. I'm from Jacksonville, Florida, and this is my painting. That looks so pretty. I bet you're not going there. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hi. This is mine. I added a touch to my clouds because I have glitter paint. So Ooh. I did the same with the blue. I love glitter paint. That looks great. Thank you. Hi. Hi. I'm Isabella and I'm from Westchester, Ohio. Oh, hi. Is, is, it, snowing? is it snowing in Westchester? No. Rain. No. It's raining instead. Oh, you're lucky. I'd take rain over. No. <laughs> I have an idea for a painting. It's okay. A horse one, like a horse head. Okay, we could do that. And I really like horse riding. I ride a lot, but sadly, because of the coronavirus, I can't ride. I understand. One day you will ride again, right? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Hi. Hi, Leah and Elise. Oh, hi. hi. This is my hot air balloons. And then this one is my hot air balloon. Thank that was you. Great. Thanks for doing it. Bye. Bye. Hi. Hi. I'm Janelle. And I'm Carter. And we're from, from Deckerville, Deckerville, Michigan. Michigan. This is mine. Ooh, pretty. And this is mine. This nice. is mine from yesterday, and it's probably my old, or two days ago. It's probably my old time favorite. I love that idea. So you took a heart shape and filled it with sports. That's awesome. And you're gonna inspire me to come up with new ideas. You gotta send me a picture of that, okay? You guys send me pictures of your stuff. So you can message me, you can email me, you can tag me, you can, what else? Hey, Danny. Hi. How are you? Cold. Um, so this is my artwork, and I did this one before your art class. Love it. Have a nice week, and you do a super great job. You're very nice. Thank you, Denise. Thanks, Danny. Bye, Denise. Bye. Hi. Oh, Hi. look at the patterns. Wow. This is mine. I'm from Dover, Delaware. That looks really nice. Thank and you, you see how she outlined? Is that Brooke? Yes. Brooke outlined all of her balloons with black, so it makes it stand out a little bit more. So you can see the difference if you outline it in black versus not. That looks awesome. I love the checker. Cool. Thanks. Bye. Hi, Lauren. Koala girl. Hi. Hi. I can't hear you though. I don't know why. It's not okay. letting me hear you, so I 
but this is my artwork right now. And wow. yesterday I made a silhouette of my family um, for my dad's birthday because it's today. Oh. And um, I think he he's really going to like it. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Bye. I know she can't hear me. Hi. Hi. Um, mine is taking me a little bit longer because I tried to do a rainbow one. And um, thank you so much for doing this. You're welcome. Thanks for and joining. Today, my grandparents got me um paint board, so that's what I'm using. Oh, that's great! Awesome. Thanks. Thank you. Hi. Hi. I have an idea for a painting. A firework painting. Also, we could do like a stained glass window or something. Oh, that would be cool. Yeah. Because a lot of people are doing stained glass on their doors and stuff. Yeah, we'll try that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. This is my painting. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> hey. Go ahead. Okay, go ahead, Clover. This is mine, and this is my other one. Thank wow. you for doing this. You're welcome. And this is mine, and I had an idea that we could do like a painting like this. Wow, okay. I had an idea uh -huh. that we could do whole paintings like this. Oh, that was nice. Okay. This is mine. My sister splashed it, but it's a little hard to see on the screen. So if your sister splashed it, just like me smudging it with my pajama sleeve, right? You can make it into something. So the splash could be maybe a little rain. You can paint over the splash and cover it up. You could put a butterfly over it. So the best part about art is that you can turn that mistake into something. But only, I don't know what exactly oh. the splash looks like, but you know, look at that splash and be like, hmm, what could I make it into? And then make it into something. Okay? You got to okay. think outside the box. Okay. <laughs> hey guys. Hi. 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 My name's Eva, and I want to show you my work that I Okay, Eva, okay. show her. Ooh, well, I this, love her colors. This. Oh, that's so pretty. You did a great job. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. You want to show you us some more? Show what your sister did? Mm -hmm. Okay. Here, Hi. Aaliyah, show us. My little us. sister did this. Oh, that came out great, too. You guys are very talented. Thank you. Thank you for Thank doing this. It's so much fun. Good, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Thanks for joining us. Hey. Hi. Hi. I have an idea for when we do that food day. Okay. Paintings, we could draw ice cream. Mm, I love ice cream. And um, just randomly, one day we could draw a waterfall. Oh, that would be nice. Waterfalls are tricky, but we can give it a try. Painting water like that is to make it look like it's flowing, but we can try. Thank you for your suggestion. Sorry, not to bother you again, but I just wanted to show you this. I haven't um, oh, showed yeah. that many people this in a while. It was my second um, art piece since I've been painted that I did, and I really think it is really good. It does. And I hope you think the same. Thank you for doing this again. All right. Hi. Hi. I'm not finished with one balloon yet. Oh, that looks great. Uh, that one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, this one's mine. Very nice. You guys are doing awesome, as always. They look fantastic. No snow on the Florida Keys, huh? Oh, that looks great. Beautiful. We're sending them to our grandma who lives in Pennsylvania. Oh, that's awesome. That's great. Food day, I was thinking maybe we could do Friday because of... Alliteration? Yeah. 
Friday, Sunday. Yeah. Maybe next Friday will be Friday. Good Friday. Thank you. Thanks, girls. Everything. Hi. This is mine. Wow, that looks really great. I love it. We could do zombie pictures because I don't really know how to I don't really know how to draw zombies. I don't really know how to draw zombies either and they scare me, but I'll think about it. <laughs> yeah, or you could draw a graveyard. A graveyard? Yeah. That's kind of scary too. Yeah. I, I'd rather do that pineapple behind you. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hi. Uh, hi. This is mine. I did a Jamaica flag on this, on the biggest one. I love it. And this is, this is mine. Oh, back up a little bit, honey, so we can see it. I can't see it. You're too close. This is our family from Jamaica. Go back a little bit. Oh, nice. You guys are doing great. Thank you. Hi, I forgot to show you this that I made. Oh, um, wow. And about the food, I'm wearing a cooking apron for my- I own. love that. I wouldn't want to get that dirty. Okay. That looks like awesome. cupcakes. We can do cupcakes. That's really fun. Mm, I like cupcakes a little too much. Hi. I thought of uh, like I thought of an idea for an artwork. Okay. Um, like you could do like a fruit bowl. Yeah, we could do a fruit bowl. That would be good. Yeah, there's some famous artists that do that too. I'll have to look up some famous artists. I did it in art class last year. Okay, and you did a fruit bowl. Yeah. Thanks, Claire. Thank you. Hi. One last time. Okay. Um, there, people are saying in the chat, French Fry Friday, also Fast Food Friday. And people want Disney stuff, but I said you can't because it's copyrighted, isn't it? And you're very smart, so you're right. I ha I'm not allowed to. I'm not going to say I never have, but I... I have. I just really can't promote it. Now, I'm, since I'm doing this for free, I think maybe, but I don't want to get in trouble. What if I got shut down? So, uh, I know. I'll have to do a little more research on it, but I, I don't think Disney wants me to reproduce their artwork. And uh, French Friday, we did French Friday a few weeks ago, but we did, we did Paris, right? We didn't do French fries. So, um, now I want to eat French fries. Yesterday I wanted to eat pizza because people were showing all those pizza paintings. <laughs> so, thanks for all your ideas. They're awesome. Bye. So you guys, if you are new here, I just want to remind you that if you're clicking on that StreamYard link and you can't get in, you have to keep trying because what happens is everyone comes on at once and the green room only allows so many people in in that waiting area. So right now, no one's in the waiting room. If you want to click the link and come on, you can share your artwork with us, but you don't have to. And I just want real quick want to talk about what we're going to do tomorrow for Saturday. So today, tomorrow at noon Eastern Standard Live, we are going to do the ballet slippers that we did the other day. I only drew them, and some of you guys also drew them, but I'm going to actually paint it because I had a lot of people be, say to me that they really wanted to do this. So I am definitely going to do this tomorrow. But look at the color. So it reminds me something like the Impressionist, like Monet, because I didn't just use a flat skin color. I used lots of different colors. And I didn't want to just make it for girls, so I added the shoe. So tomorrow, we're going to do a shoe Saturday. 
So you can, I'll do both. I'll draw both of them out and then you can pick which one you want to do or you can do them both. You can, again, rewatch it. So all these videos are recorded on Facebook and on YouTube. So you can subscribe to YouTube, Artist at Heart Paint Party, and on the Facebook page, Artist at Heart Paint Party, you can see all of the videos recorded. So tomorrow we will be doing both of those. Share it with your friends and your family. And uh, yep, yeah, hi. Hi. This is mine. Thank you. Hi. Hi. This is mine. Me and my mom did it. That's really pretty. I love that blue. It's like a really pretty blue. Thank you, Thank you for doing it. Hi. Hi. My name's Leon. And I'm from Avon, Ohio, and I made this painting, and I was just making a waterfall. Oh, that looks like a waterfall. It makes me want to go swimming. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Hi. Hi. I'm Jenny, and um, I didn't do today's painting because I didn't have time, but I just wanted to show you this one that I did. That really pretty. Thank you. Thanks. Hello. Um, I already painted my ballet once, but I'm super excited for tomorrow. Awesome. You can do the tennis shoe. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. So, you guys, if you are using canvas, so I use canvas that's thick, like this. So, it's about an inch thick or a quarter of an inch. No, it's a little more than a quarter. But because we're doing so many, what happens is a lot of my customers also say to me, what am I going to do with all these canvases? So again, I say pay it forward, give them to people as gifts, you know, Christmas presents, birthday presents, Mother's Day presents coming up. We'll do something special for Mother's Day, graduation presents. But you can also buy the panel. So they're called canvas panels and they're flat. So they're thick, thick enough that the paper won't warp if you're painting on it but they're not this thick. So you can just have a bunch of them and they don't take up a lot of space. Or a lot of you guys are using a heavier stock paper. If you're using watercolor paint on a paper and it buckles, that means it gets wavy. Once it's dry, you can put a book on top of it or you can put it inside the pages of a book and it'll flatten it out. Hi girls. Um, we just wanted to show you a magic trick with a toothpick. Okay. <laughs> wow, where'd it go? <laughs> I love it! And I can make it disappear. <laughs> and it's back. Wow! Can you do that with snow? Thank you. Can you make <laughs> snow I'm gonna do that with the snow. Snow, disappear! Oh my god, here! Thanks, girl. I want another magic trick. Bring me to Florida, Siesta Keys. I want to go to Florida. I want to be in the sun. I want to be where it's warm. I just want to see grass. It's white and snowy. My flowers are covered in white snow. Now, some of you might think that's really fun and exciting, but you know what? I'm over it. I like it to snow for Christmas. I like to have a white Christmas and then I'm done with winter. So winter in April, no, it's not fun anymore. So thanks so much for joining us. It was a great fun day. Again, tomorrow we will work on shoes. They could be any kind of shoes you want. Go find your, oh, you know what, Joe? I wanted you tomorrow, Joe. Joe loves to paint his tennis shoes, and he creates cool designs on them, and he hand paints them. So tomorrow I'm going to have Joe show you guys some of his uh real shoes that he paints. Don't do that to your own tennis shoes unless you have permission, but find your favorite pair of shoes. You can even practice today. That's your homework. Go look for your favorite pair of shoes and start practicing drawing it. It could be even ice skates. It could be roller skates. It could be roller blades. It could be hiking boots. It could be tennis shoes, whatever, dance shoes, ballet shoes, tap shoes. Think of whatever your favorite shoes are that we're going to draw tomorrow and we're going to paint them in or you can color it any way you want. Thanks so much for joining me on PJ Party Friday. I will see you guys for Shoe Saturday tomorrow noon. Thanks so much, guys. Stay safe. Pay it forward. Bye.